Hi, welcome to Power Motion YouTube channel. We're making short video series about electric bike. So hopefully this will bring you uh, comprehensive information about electric bike that will help you uh, how to decide whether electric bike is for you. So on today's video or this segment of the video, I want to talk about the major component what uh, to make up an electric bike. You have the basic motor, you have the battery, you have the controller, and you have the control panel. And the last thing is either the throttle or pedal sensor. Uh, those are the five major components to make up an electric bike. So let me start off with two of the major components. The first major component is the motor itself. So what I have here is basically is a hub motor, but uh, there are other type of uh, mid-drive system that we can actually install mid-drive system as well. Uh, so there's a you know, potential, a different version of uh, motor. So the next item is the battery. So the battery are generally something like this. Uh, basically you mount it on the down tube, like the bike right here. And there are times that you may mount the battery at the back. Uh, so basically the motor and the battery is basically how you're gonna power up the electric bike. The bigger wattage of the motor, the better torque and better hill climbing capability that you have. And same thing with the battery. The battery is determining your mileage or kind of think about like a gas tank. Um, the bigger the gas tank that you have and the longer mileage that you will go. However, in terms of the battery technology, doesn't all doesn't has to be always bigger. It's just the inside of the battery, they may use a higher capacity uh, battery. So as a result, you can actually pack the same amount, pack the pack a much more high energy on the same space. So you do want to find out a little bit more when you're talking to someone about the electric bike, how big is the battery. Generally they go by M hour and sometimes they go by watt hour. So those numbers is basically determine how big the gas tank is. Okay, so next what I like to talk about is the controller. So uh, as you can see here that uh, I mounted the controller right here. So this is a converter bike. So what is the purpose of a controller? Exactly what it sounds like. It basically is like the brain of the electric bike. It controlling your input as well as the output. So my throttle is my input. So that tell how fast I should be going. So it go through the controller and the battery go through the controller. And then it just basically supply the power to the motor. So this is one of the major components that uh, within the uh, electric bike system here. But what I want to like to point out is sometimes you may not be able to see the controller on an electric bike. Sometimes they mount the controller underneath the bottom bracket. So for example, easy motion, they mount the controller underneath the bottom bracket. As well as some other e-bike, they actually mount the controller up on the top in the in-frame. You may not see it, but it is there. The only other type of uh, controller that I have seen is a little bit more advanced, um, like the Bionic system. So they basically embedded the controller inside the motor. Uh, so then it reduced one of the components that you have to deal with. Uh, it just, you know, it's just a little bit more highly integrated. So overall, the controller just basically is, it's a brain of the system that control both of your input as well as your output. Okay, so next what i like to talk about is the control panel. So what I have, uh, it's a very, very simple control panel right here. It has two buttons. Um, so I hit the on and off button that will turn on the system. And then on the left side, I have the mode button. So by uh, switching the mode, it allow me to switch from low, medium, and high. And that basically allow uh, how to deliver power to the system. If I put it in low, it will go a little bit more slower. And when I put it in high, it will give you a lot more power. Obviously, uh, there are different type of control panel. Uh, some of the more advanced control panel will have LCD display. It will provide more additional information, for, exma for example, speedometer or odometer and uh, mileage and that kind of stuff. Um, so basically a control panel is just a simple user interface to allow you to control how the system behaves. Okay, so next what i like to talk about is the speed control. Uh, we have two types of uh, speed control. The first one is uh, throttle base and then the second way is the pe uh, pedal sensor. So let's just kind of zoom in on the uh, throttle base. So what I have here is a twist grip. Um, it's very much like a motorcycle and sometimes people call it power on demand. So um, my, right now my, uh, my system is turned on. So when I twist the throttle, 
it will cause the motor to stop uh, rotating or speeding up. And if I twist it harder, it's gonna go a lot more faster. So this is how you controlling the speed is basically twisting the throttle very much like a motorcycle. On the other hand, uh, pedal legs, basically there is a sensor built in either on the bottom bracket or in the back of the frame or sometime inside the motor. So basically it's a torque sensor that measuring how hard you're pedaling. So for example, when you're going up the hill, it will engage the motor more power for you. And when you just pedal on a flat, it will just basically provide you a, just a, a modest power. Um, so those are called pedal legs. And what that means is basically it based on how hard you pedal and it will engage the speed of the uh, motor. Okay, so uh, to quickly summarize uh, what I talk about the uh, component of e-bike. So basically an e-bike contains basically five major components. Uh, you have the motor, the battery, the controller, uh, the control panel, as well as the speed control, sometimes known as throttle or pedal legs. Uh, so each of those components will provide the complete system to allow the electric bike to be engaged. Um, so those are the five major components that makes up for the electric bike. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up or subscribe our video or just check us out at info at powermotion.ca.